Hi guys! Welcome! I really hope you're having an amazing week. If you're new to this channel, it mainly focuses on business, money, and overall success. That means we explore a wide range of topics as long as it helps you as a creative individual or entrepreneur. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time a new video is uploaded to this channel. And with that out of the way, today I'd like to talk about a very successful creative named Ali Abdal. Ali is also an accomplished doctor out of the UK. But this amazing guy focuses on much more than just medicine in the traditional way, as he also runs a successful YouTube channel, podcast, blog, and newsletter dedicated to medical teachings, productivity, and various social topics. Needless to say, Ali is quite the busy individual and someone we could all learn from. Hence the reason for featuring him in today's spotlight. First, let's get something out of the way. Ali Abdal is effectively a millionaire and a big part of his success was due to starting a personal blog and later expanding as I briefly mentioned. To better understand this monumental success, let's rewind and explain the series of actions he took to get to where he is today. You see, Ali Abdal always wanted to find new ways of expressing himself while also reaching a wider audience. And although he was already somewhat familiar with blogging, there were quite a few obstacles that prevented him from starting that journey. His biggest problem was something that many of us are familiar with, the fear of failure. Ali often questioned his credentials and his expertise, feeling rather unqualified to cover these subjects properly. In short, he did not feel like an expert whatsoever. Even though deep down he knew this simply wasn't true, and even if these intrusive thoughts were not an obstacle, other factors played his ability to finally start a blog. Ali felt embarrassed to put his name out there, often wondering how friends and family would feel if they ever discovered his work online. Other fears were a bit more irrational, like the possibility of his blog potentially ruining his medical career in the future, especially if he ever provided wrong or otherwise misleading information. Then, as he desperately tried to fight his demons, Ali stumbled upon a book titled Show Your Work by author Austin Kleon. In essence, the book taught Ali all about self-imposed obstacles and how to overcome them. All of this resonated heavily with the struggling, then medical student, which prompted him to finally launch his blog. This new website generally covered topics he was intimately familiar with, such as medical subjects, book reviews, and many personal thoughts brilliantly backed by facts. The simple act of starting a blog was quickly bringing out this dormant talent to teach and inspire others. Over time he learned that you don't need to be an expert to express your thoughts on any given topic. After all, learning is a journey that often happens alongside your audience, together as a family. His continued blog posts also got him over the fear of embarrassment, making him realize that people are really not concerned about others in that regard and that we have our own problems to worry about. Needless to say, his efforts quickly led to a massively successful blog and other projects, as we will soon cover. Time itself was also a valuable teacher to Ali Abdal. At one point, he wrote an article about time management and its direct relation to money and success. This content helped draw the attention of aforementioned author Austin Kleon, whom Ali had a chance to interview a short time later. Together, they discussed the power of getting to know oneself and the impact that writing can have as you unlock deeper parts about your strengths. Moreover, Ali had learned much about the butterfly effect, where something seemingly small can have big consequences later down the road. In this case, Austin's book led to the creation of his successful blog and finding a loyal and active audience. If this hadn't happened, Ali probably wouldn't have started his popular YouTube channel, his podcast and millions of people wouldn't have been positively impacted as a result. So here are some takeaways from Ali's journey and how you can become just as successful financially and otherwise. First, always remember that it's never too late to start. One of Allah's regrets is not having started his blog earlier in life, especially as he enjoys documenting his thoughts and opinions on a wide range of topics. Today, Ali suggests you start your own journey, and even if you don't initially find huge success, this will always be a valuable learning experience. Secondly, leverage multiple avenues to maximize your reach. Ali manages a website, a newsletter, a podcast, and his YouTube channel. And while you shouldn't spread yourself thin, 
consider hiring an assistant to help you gradually expand to the best of your ability. However, be careful about how much you can accomplish and focus on the tasks you can do best. This helps avoid burnout and allows you to really give it your all. Finally, whatever it is you have in mind, just start it and don't let fear or embarrassment hold you back. We tend to be our own worst enemy. But remember, everybody has their own life to worry about. On the contrary, putting yourself out there will only help others get to know your strengths even better. And that includes friends and family. Well, this is all for this video. I truly hope this great individual has inspired you to start your entrepreneurial journey. Please visit Allah's YouTube channel from the video's description if you wish to learn more about him. Meanwhile, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Take care, until next time.